Seven, we've got a big update this morning, and officials say the mistake that's making headlines at Fountain Inn is something that needs to be addressed today. So with that, we're going to go to Fox Carolina's own Myra Wee. She's live in the studio. Yes, there is a math error that amounted to about $400,000 not being collected in taxes that Fountain Inn would use to fund police and fire departments, garbage pickup, and other essential services. But the city of Fountain Inn now saying that they will there will not be any disruption to that as a result of the mistake. Now, there are two counties that fall, Fountain Inn falls into. Most of it's in Greenville County, but 30% falls in Lawrence County. And so in a written response, the Lawrence County Auditor Jim Coleman said last year there was an error that allowed uh, them to receive a higher credit for their local option sales tax on their city tax bill, which resulted in a lower tax bill. Their bill this year will be approximately the same as two years ago. So their bill will actually be higher than last year, but not because of a raise in taxes. Now, the break that the auditor was talking about applied to 2023 taxes, and for those taxpayers who pay their property taxes, taxes with their mortgage, this could lead to even more confusion because that affects yet another calculation. And another major concern, of course, is the impact on public services. We caught up with two residents who are affected by this mistake. They also happen to be the mayor and a city councilman. I don't know what the multiplier is. Obviously, they didn't either because they punched in the wrong one. You would hope it mistakes like that wouldn't happen. The only remedy as at the suggestion of the auditor and treasurer is to rebuild our taxpayers in order to recoup that $400,000. But we have no intention of putting this burden on our taxpayers. Luckily, we are on sound financial footing and fountain in. So those who were affected by this mistake will notice that their taxes are a little higher when their bills come out within the next couple of weeks. But again, that is not because of a raise in taxes. It's because they were incorrectly billed last year. But again, the city of Fountain Inn will not try to recoup that money that was not collected but should have been. And even though it wasn't the city's mistake, Fountain Inn will implement some internal control measures to make sure that this doesn't happen again. My Ruiz, Fox Carolina News.